Hello everybody, Clayman from Clayman Studios here, and as you can obviously see today, we are playing Dwarf Fortress, Chapter 2. Um, oh, let me put the camera there. Maybe you can see that little fire, firefly thing again, sorry about that. Or it's just buzzing around here, uh, just following my mouse. Let's just put that down here off to the side. Um, obviously today we're playing Dwarf Fortress. Uh, it's a pretty nice game. I'm using tip cam again. Uh, I don't think I'll be getting fraps for another two days now, but I just wanted to show off this game. I really like it. Uh, we're just gonna play regular Dwarf Fortress. I tried to play Adventure, but then I I just shot myself in the head. I mean, I forgot certain things how to play it because I've just been playing this for so long. You know what? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No. Um. But, uh, I might have a little bit of allergies in this episode to come, so don't take me for that. Uh, and here we go, embark. Damn you, I said embark. Embark, I said. Okay, fine. How about here? I've been pressing T. Ugh. I suck so bad. Now let's just make you a regular mine. Well, let us see who you are and if you are fat. She is skinny. She is slightly broad. Well, you are not fat. If you are not fat, you will work. The fat dwarves do not work. Because the fat dwarves are the happy dwarves. Now I'm just kidding around. Uh, let's go to this. How about I make you. Uh, you, I'm guessing you're a girl. Oh, it's a he. Um, this is a little bit awkward. Hmm. I know, uh, I always like to read their little bio. He's average in size, his hair is somewhat greasy, his very long sideburns are neatly combed, his medium-length mustache is neatly combed, his very long beard is neatly combed, his very long hair is neatly combed, his narrow chin, let me guess, it's neatly combed. No, chins can't be combed, but this guy just, uh, is he, he should be a comb maker, I'm making this guy a comb maker, no. His teeth are crowed, his, did I say that, yeah, his broad head is extremely tall, Wow, his slightly sunken rust eyes are slightly close set. His hair is tan. His skin is raw umber. Hmm. The ladies might find you attractive, cause I know I do it now. No, no, never. Now uh, let's see. Uh, how about you know what? I don't even care what you look like. You can be a grower and a brewer. Be a happy brewer. Make the beer for the day. Uh, you will be a mason, just a pure mason. You get to be nothing else. Ah, uh, let's go over here. This is a, this is really important. I'm gonna show you some stuff you can get rid of. You can get rid of one copper battle axe because that's what the dwarf. I'll my dwarf will be using to chop down trees. And these, ooh, you don't need a lot of these. I say the recommended a rat amount. Just gonna be doing a lot of shit in the first few minutes uh i would just move these all down to two i think hmm, i think that'd be a two uh maple bucket oh i don't need two of you stupid maple bucket maple 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 uh they have weird names here mountain goat leather quivers yay pigtail fibers um let's go back to the dwarves now, you are the mason. You're the happy mason. Let's see. She has 58 years old. Born in the fort. She is fat. Ew. She's fat. Ew. Hope she doesn't find this guy attractive because he's very attractive. No. Uh. Yeah. Oh, wait. This is a girl. This guy. <laughs> yeah. mm, let's see. He is 51 years old. Ooh, he might be the young of the three. 58. 51. 58. 70, 60, 54, 
80. Wow, he is the youngest. That Since you are the youngest and you have to take care of these rowdy old people, you will be the leader. Yes, you will be the leader. Um, how about you're a wound dresser? Eh, no. Diagnostician, surgeon, bone doctor, suture, uh, ooh, let's put you three in the appraiser, and leader, obviously. Um, now, oh, shoot, what am I? Forget a carpenter. I am forgetting a carpenter. At least one time I even forgot to put skills into one dwarf, and I, I was so mad. My community was so good, going so good going so good, um, that, like, I'm like, I need to start making beds and supplies for my dwarves. I noticed I didn't even have a carpenter. Miner, Miner Mason, ooh, whoa, 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 you, that would have been very bad to have two Masons. We don't want no competition. You're the building designer, lady. Are you a guy? Since I'm always wrong, that's probably a guy. Now... Ah, what what did I just do? What? What did I... Okay, that's that's better. I didn't know what I just did. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, carpenter? Uh, carpenter, doctor, leader, mason, uh, woodcutter, herbalist, I think I made you? Yes, I did. Uh, brewer slash farmer, building designer, miner, and just miner. You have no other skills, Adam. But you are slightly attractive. <laughs> no, you're not slightly attractive. You're 80 years old. You're a granny. You're a grat. I, I never understood why, like, all the dwarves in this game are very old. Uh, let's see. Um, how about we go over to my items? Ooh, let's get ready. Let's get ready. Plump helmets. Always nice to have on your journey. I'd say about 25. The wine, uh, the wine is not okay. I'd put that up to about 70. Pigtail seeds, uh, 15. Plump helmet spawn, 18. Let's, before we forget, uh, one dog, one cat, another cat, a boy and a girl cat, so they can make beautiful dog, doggy babies. Doggy babies! Cats can make doggy babies, it's official. Now, uh, two dogs can make doggy babies, and I can train those doggy babies to be ultimate hunting dogs and war dogs who tear their enemies apart, and these cats can be hunting kitties and, and war kitties who tear their, no, they're just gonna be cats who I can eat if I start to starve. Yeah, yeah, you heard me, your kittens will be our food supply, and you'll kill our rodents for free. Uh, let's see, we got any points. How about we just put in the cave wheat seeds? I don't know. Uh, rock nuts. Nah, who needs fiber? <laughs> Screw fiber. Uh, oh, no more stuff. So, I guess, in the next episode, we will embark. Um, uh, bye, everybody. In the next episode, we embark. Bye. Sorry if you've seen any sort of thing on the screen, like the firefly, or it's been down here, and I just brought it back up for you. Uh, sorry if you've seen the firefly on the screen. It's just part of the show. Uh, sorry if my voice is a little bit scratchy, uh, it's not really coming out good on TipCam, which is very nice and reliable, I think, so far, uh, as, like, a replacement for Fraps until, like, in, like, three days, and just, uh, goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a good night.